So in the previous videos, we've looked at two other differentiation techniques. We've looked at the chain rule, which worked for functions within functions, so f of g of x. Then we learned about the product rule, and the product rule looks at products of functions, so two functions multiplied together. And now in this final video, we're going to be looking at the quotient rule. And the quotient rule deals with quotients, which are fractions. So a quotient of functions. So the formula for um, differentiating a quotient is this. dy by dx is equal to f prime of x, g of x. Uh, take away f of x, g prime of x, all over g of x squared. Now this is a pretty horrendous looking formula when you first see it. Sometimes the best way to think about it is, and the way that I'd like to remember it, is I do the bottom times the derivative of the top, take away the top times the derivative of the bottom, over the bottom squared. So I try and remember it that way. So this is your bottom times the derivative of the top, take away the top times the derivative of the bottom, over the bottom squared. Now, this formula is given to you in the formula booklet if you know where to find it. Um, it's on the differentiation list on page 7, about midway down. Okay, So it is given to you, you just need to know how to use it. I'll leave it up there for the time being. Right. Okay, so I'm going to work through these three examples to show you how this works. So the first one, dy by dx is equal to the bottom, so e to the x plus 1, times the derivative of the top. The derivative of the top is 0. Take away the top, 1 times the derivative of the bottom. Now the derivative of the bottom is just e to the x, because the 1 differentiates to 0. So I just get e to the x. All over the bottom squared. So e to the x plus 1 squared. So I would um, tidy this up a little bit. That bit's all 0, so I just have minus e to the x over e to the x plus 1 squared. And that's how I would write my final solution. Okay? So that's the first one. Let's try number two. Now we've got y is equal to e to the 2x over x plus 3. So dy by dx is equal to the bottom, x plus 3, times the derivative of the top, which, using the chain rule, is 2e to the 2x. Take away the top, e to the 2x, times the derivative of the bottom, which is just 1. All over the bottom squared, so x plus 3 squared. Right, so let's tidy this up. Um, multiply out that bracket, I'm going to have 2xe to the 2x plus 6e to the 2x, and I've got a minus e to the 2x there, all over x plus 3 squared. So I'd probably finish off with writing this as 2xe to the 2x plus 5e to the 2x, all over x plus 3 squared. Okay, and that would be how I write the final answer there. Um, so that's number two. So once you get into the swing of this, it's not really too bad. Last one. y is equal to sine x over cos x. So dy by dx. So this would also, because sine x over cos x is tan x, this would find you the derivative of tan. This is how you differentiate tan. So dy by dx is the bottom, so cos x, times by the derivative of the top. So that's cos x. Take away the top, sine x, times the derivative of the bottom, which is minus sine x. 
all over the bottom squared, so cos x squared, or cos squared x. So we have cos squared on the top, we've got minus sine x times minus sine x, so that's plus sine squared x. So I have cos squared plus sine squared on the top, so that's just 1, so 1 over cos squared. Now 1 over cos squared is the same as sec squared, because 1 over cos is sec. So the derivative of tan x is sec squared x. Okay? And that's how we can use the chain rule. As I said, I remember it as the bottom times the derivative of the top, take away the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom squared. And the more you can practice it, the better. But as I said, it is in the formula booklet if you ever uh, get stuck and forget it.